sleep. Find out how local officials are reacting to the death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. One person is in the hospital after their car hit a road sign, then flipped over. Community members and those affected by Alzheimer's showed their support today. Live in high definition, from your news leader, this is Jet 24 Action News at 6. Good evening, I'm Brian Wilk. Thanks for joining us on YourEerie.com. The nation today is mourning the loss of a legal luminary and American icon. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away Friday evening at 87 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. As the tributes pour in, a political battle is already brewing over her replacement. Here's ABC's Karina Mitchell with the story. With the presidential election just over six weeks away, the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg triggering an epic political battle with the ideological future of the court hanging in the balance. Sources close to President Trump say he will name a replacement for Ginsburg in the coming days, and Senate Republicans are promising confirmation. Across the country, an outpouring of affection for the legendary justice. But Democrats are saying not so fast, remembering how Merrick Garland's domination to replace the late Justice Antonin Scalia was derailed over election year politics. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell saying the nomination was for the next president to make, not Obama. Let me be clear that the voters should pick the president and the president should pick the justice for the Senate to consider. This was the position of the Republican Senate took in 2016 when there were almost 10 months to go before the election. For now, the nation is mourning the death of a legal pioneer. Crowds gathering at the steps of the Supreme Court as flags above the Capitol and the White House lowered to half staff. 3,000 miles away, a candlelight vigil in San Francisco as tributes pour in from across the political spectrum, hailing Ginsburg's work as a champion of equality in her quarter century on the court. Whether you agreed or not, she was an amazing woman who led an amazing life. Karina Mitchell, ABC News, New York. And Chelsea Swift joins us in the control room with more on how local leaders are reacting to the death of the Su Supreme Court Justice. Chelsea? Hi, Brian. Some local leaders saying her death caused some to grieve. However, the, her career continues to inspire others to advocate for equal rights for all people. As soon as I saw the news, I, it was upsetting to me. She was an amazing woman and an inspiration to me, not only as a woman, but in the legal field as well, first as an attorney and then as a judge. And other local leaders agree. Julie Slomsky says Ginsburg has been influential to her as a female politician. A true champion for equality and probably one of the most consequential Americans in, in my lifetime. Talked to so many folks that, that truly are, are grieving. And though some are grieving, one local candidate for Congress says it drives her to advocate for equal rights the way Ginsburg did. It's really just lit more fire underneath me to, to strive to be the best that I can, to be the role model that I want to be for my two girls and to my community. In addition to local officials saying Ginsburg was an inspiration, they say her death should remind people to get out and vote. That we have to vote because there's so much more on the ballot. Uh, it's not just the presidency, it's all the down ballots. But when you think about what's at the top of the ticket, it's the Supreme Court as well. Everybody should always get out and vote, no matter which side you're on. It's, it's important that you exercise your right to vote. And these local officials are saying if you are planning on voting by mail-in ballot, to do so as soon as possible. Brian? Thank you, Chelsea. Governor Tom Wolf ordering flags at all state facilities to fly at half staff in honor of the late Justice Ginsburg. He and First Lady Frances Wolf offering condolences in a joint statement saying, in part, Justice Ginsburg's life and career have made America a more fair and equitable place. She never shied away from standing out by standing up for civil rights and equal protections. Pennsylvania's senior senator also giving condolences in a statement saying in part, Justice Ginsburg was a pioneer for gender equality, a champion for human rights, and a fierce defender of workers. Power lines down and a road closure were part of the scene of one car accident. 
Around 1045 Friday night, calls went out for a car into a sign and utility pole on West Lake Road at the Vernondale Motel. According to Erie County 911, the driver ran into a sign rolling the car, leading to an injury. First responders were needed to pull the driver from the crash, who was taken by ambulance to the hospital. Westlake Road was closed to traffic for a short time during the rescue effort. No word on what caused the crash. At least two people are dead after a mass shooting in Rochester, New York early Saturday morning. Police are investigating after a large outdoor gathering got shot up early Saturday morning. At least two people are dead and 14 others are injured. Police still don't have a motive for the shooting and are working with, with witnesses to try and identify if there are one or more suspects. This is yet another tragedy where individuals are having these illegal and unsanctioned house parties taking place in um, these properties, which number one is not safe, you know, because of COVID, because of the conditions. Officers believe more than a dozen rounds were fired. The 14 surviving victims were all taken to local hospitals. Local officials say none sustained life-threatening injuries. Some new numbers to report for COVID-19 in the state of Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Department of Health reporting 1,162 additional positive COVID-19 cases today, bringing the statewide total to over 149,000. There were 22 new deaths reported. In Erie County, the state is reporting seven new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total to 288 cases. Crawford County reporting 287 cases today with an increase of one. Warren County holding at 42 cases. Chautauqua County reporting 602 cases. That's an increase of eight. And Ashtabula County reports 641 cases up and while the county and state haven't seen a post-Labor Day spike in COVID-19, Gannon University is dealing with an increase on their campus. According to the university, there has been an uptick in the last week with 11 students testing positive. This after the school dealt with 11 cases earlier in the semester, putting their total cases at 22. Those students are currently in isolation with another 71 students in quarantine after being in close contact with the possible cases. And Gannon University students, staff and alumni giving back to the community, participating in different community service projects. Every year, groups of Gannon University students go to different areas in Erie community to clean up trash. Some students choosing to serve meals at local homeless shelters. A variety of Gannon sports teams, sororities, and fraternities participated. The wrestling coach says the team picked up garbage between 18th and 26th Street along Parade Street. It's supposed to be a humbling experience for you. I mean, you're going up and cleaning other people's trash. It's humbling, but that's, that's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to feel humbled and give back. And Gannon Give Day is part of the International Coastal Cleanup. Students stay head down to Presque Isle State Park to clean up the beaches. And community members and those who have lost loved ones to Alzheimer's walk through Erie for the 2020 Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. The money raised will go to the local chapter of the Northwest Alzheimer's Association. That money will help caregivers and research programs to find a cure. Nora Lakovich lost her mother to Alzheimer's and says it's a tough disease to go through. Some advancements have been made recently with Alzheimer's in, in the research department and we're really hoping for a cure. And they also planted a promise garden. The flowers represent people that signed up to the walk. And one local church teamed up with a local organization to help feed the hungry today. It's good news tonight at 6. Antioch Missionary Baptist Church and the Greater Erie Community Action Committee handed out free meals today. Minister Jeffrey Lyons says lots of volunteers showed up to help and the organization allowed him and his church to hold the free meal distribution there. 
I think it's nice for them to see some people reaching out to them. Um, one of the things is when the haves don't reach out to the have-nots. And masks were available at the door and social distancing measures were in place and all of the meals were made to go. And coming up on Jet 24 Action News at 6, this weekend folks over at Asbury Woods got the chance to learn about the importance of bees. That's after a first look at the forecast. Hey Craig. Hey Brian, it was frosty uh, this morning across many areas. Probably going to happen again tonight. The details.